Uh, welcome back everyone to another episode of EU4 Morocco! So guys, I got a couple things to tell you and the first off the bat is that I am just returning from a workout right now, so yeah. My hands are killing me, my arms are sore, my legs are sore. So if I sound anywhere in fact different or if I am going to be spontaneously groaning at some point, please do not feel offended and that I am not coming on to you. I am just hurting right now. I am seriously hurting. So, and then on another side note, accident, on another side note, so basically what happened guys, I accidentally played like literally two, I literally played like two minutes into the game, I mean I literally, you guys could see, it's literally been like two minutes, I just unpaused it for a second, I didn't even notice it, and all of a sudden it was like going, I was like, oh shoot, and between that time, I had an heir, okay, I had an heir, and he died, okay, and then I had another ant that apparently just sprung up out of nowhere. So, what that means to tell me is that apparently my family has been come extinct and now we have a very weak person coming to the throne. So our next guy is not going to be that good. Sultan Martinid is probably our best Sultan here for a while. So, yeah, it isn't exactly good, but yeah, that's what's happening right now. Anyways, though, we are back inside our little war theater. The attire, or whatever you want to call it, where I have let's see the allied with Oman, Oman not big threat, Hengen not big threat, Marmal wow you guys have a very weak alliance, I'm just gonna say that now, but yeah we're just fighting these guys and they're kind of annoying me, not gonna lie like seriously I'm getting a little bit annoyed and to be honest when I'm annoyed I stop playing the game like just all you know nice and, f and funny. They actually start actually concentrating. You know, the worst, honestly, the worst thing you can have me do is to actually concentrate on the game. When I'm just distracted and, you know, just like, did, you know, just like ditzy, just like doing everything, I'm usually, you know, it's usually pretty fun. But when I'm actually focused in on something, ooh, you better, be, you better be running. So right now we have this fleet that we are going to be hunting down to go kill. And I'm pretty sure with 37 heavy, oh, heck no. You ain't getting away that easy. Yeah, 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 yeah. You, you think you could get away. I'm gonna hunt you down. Uh, citizens, cities demand old rights, legitimacy. Oh shoot! It. Uh, how much did I shoot? Oh shoot! Well, it seems like we lost political stability for that. That was kind of stupid, but yeah. I'm just going to. One well, thing I'm going to try to do is actually start. Is actually I think I'm going to try and maximize all my naval ideas, but not yet. I want to make sure I have enough diplomats so that I can actually do stuff later. Okay, our relations right now with Sweden are pretty good. I mean, we're doing okay for the most part. I don't really care about this. I've, I've just halfway allied myself with great powers just so they don't exactly come and kill me later. I think that's kind of my strategy right now. Okay. It seems like... It seems like... Oh, shoot. Get back! Wow, that is serious. Wow. That is serious, like... You know, inflation. Alright. So I'm gonna have these guys dock up for a little bit, heal up in one of my cities. I'm pretty sure every city has a good dock. At least, I'm pretty sure. Let's see. Barbarics, constable, shipyard. Yeah, you see? Told you. Wait. No! I didn't build dry docks everywhere. What was I doing? All right, well, I'll build dry docks in these four places. This will be my kind of bay area. Uh, because it's a Michael Bay. Okay, so, anyways. By now, we have a couple different little armies of Aragon. It's kind of annoying me. Not really. They're not really, like threatening to me at any point oh wow a lot of people are in this coalition i mean i could fire this coalition right now and definitely take some land but i really don't want to i need to find other people to invade hey moldavia you want to be friends or allies or enemies whichever one fits you i really don't care they all sound about the same to me no okay but we'll go back to just relaxing but I have to wait for my attack fleet to get a little bit more strong. At least until most of them are 100%. And now what I'm going to do is detach that one stupid ship that should not be in there. Because this is solidly attack fleet. And then let's go crush all these armies inside here. Because that's what we were going to do, but we kind of got sidetracked. And while that's going on, it seems like there's some island hopping going on over there. Don't really care too much. Okay, your merchant men go right there. Your... I'm pretty sure this is all heavy frigates, so I'm just gonna combine you guys. I really, 
I'm gonna be honest, people. I don't really quite remember how I set up my entire. Oh, 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 oh! Get back, get back, get back! I don't quite remember how I set up everything. Yeah, no. You get to stay down here. So yeah, we have to first destroy that Portuguese. Oh. Okay, okay. You know what? I'm going to have to be a little bit of a jerk. You guys. I'm going to sacrifice one of you each time just to keep these guys here. Okay? So that we can... Because I want to engage this fleet so we can destroy it. So, yeah. Just every single time, we're going to sacrifice... This is so... Yeah, there we go. Just keep sending out one ship at a time until these guys get here. Okay? Just keep sending out... This, this is really... I, I really feel bad for these. There we go! And there we go. So yeah, I felt bad for them for a little bit, but now they're gonna. Now my massively more powerful ship, massively more powerful navy, would literally retreat. May not retreat. Okay, I may not retreat. But with 6.44 fleet morale. Okay, who is gonna beat me in this? Yeah, Portugal, you're not gonna beat me in this. I have 36 heavies. You have nine heavies at most, and like. Yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. I have war gallons, you have... Yeah, this is going to be a slaughter. Oh, look at that. Look at that beauty. Captured one ship and destroyed all of them. Thank you guys for doing your lovely sacrifice. I know it's not necessarily the best strategy to use, but... You know, when you have as much money as I do, and when you have enough, as much manpower as I do, it is just right to start using your people as cannon fodder. Especially since you don't really care about them in, your, in the long process. So, let's see. Is it about time to start in, uh, influencing you guys to become part of my... Oh yeah, I can't do it yet. Not to you. What about you, Iraq? Are you guys ready to be my vassal? Come on, you guys must be my vassal. You guys aren't ready to be my vassal? No, I just need to wait for this war to end. Okay. So, since the war is going to end here soon, let me go get my army. My army. My little ships. Oh, we also have one little thing that's not supposed to be here. You guys get out of here. And then you guys. Let's go send you guys inside the big bay area. And let's go destroy whatever big ships are in here. Because apparently they actually... They actually have no more heavies. Oh gosh, that's terrible. I have 62 heavies and 217 light ships. Literally, this is going to be a slaughter of epic proportion. I don't think they have anything that could fight me. I mean, literally, I can't think of anything that they could use to fight me in this. They're, they're basically... Unless I make some really stupid mistakes, which can happen, I'm not gonna not gonna quite deny that there could be some mistakes being felt. But most of the time, I believe I'm gonna basically crush these guys in oblivion. Um, and I think before I get advanced administration, since I'm already leveling administration up a good amount... Oh, Lampertu is already, like, revolting. Okay, do I have a good army over here? Yeah, I have a good army over here, so I don't even have to deal with it. Okay, but like I was saying, I think I'm going to get the ideals of, um, I think I'm going to get the bureaucratic ideals of tax modifier, that way I get a ton of money. With all the stuff I do right now in my empire, it'd be just great if I have that national. Uh, they tell us of internal commerce, we get it, uh, face so much to take up other chaos, so they can serve country, uh, what does that mean? Does, does that mean Rio de Plata actually did something? Or, uh, no, that just means they're completely occupied by peasants. Okay. Don't really care then. <laughs> that doesn't really concern me at all. Like, seriously, yeah. I think what I'm gonna do is actually just combine all my light ships into one gigantic army. And then once the war ends, I'm just gonna separate them. Okay, and the war apparently ended with Hungary. Serbia, okay, we won the war. Huzzah! We won! We protected our little buddies. Or oh, really, Hungarians. Yeah. Hmm. Seems like Austria bit a little bit in the Hungary, which I don't like. But, yay! We now are finished with the war, which means now I have to figure out where all my fleets are! Oh gosh, this is gonna be a long and arduous process. Just, yeah, just wanna put that out there. So, yeah, this is supposed to be my, like... Okay. Let's see. I'll put my light ships over here in this area. Yeah, you guys go to Judea. I don't... I'm just trying to combine all my light ships. I'm just trying to combine all my light ships. Dang, there's so many light ships. And then this is also going to be my transport fleet, so I should probably start dealing with that. And then I also have some transports down here, right? Correct? And these are actually frigates, so go right here. And then do I have any kind of light ships? No. Okay. Then, what else can we do? 
Well, since we are kind of at peace, I have to figure out people to attack. Right now I have a decent sized coalition against me, which isn't necessarily good per se, but it's not bad per se. I mean, I don't I don't necessarily don't benefit from it, so yeah. Um, but on a serious note though, what we have to start looking for is countries that have tons of cores on other countries. Um, you know, Naples actually might be a good country to kind of offer vassalization to. The only problem is that they aren't in the same religious group. If only you were Sunni, man. If only you were Sunni. You would love it too, because we get, we get special benefits like the fact we get sometimes better piety than the other European powers. So, yeah, I think I'm gonna get a uh, National Bureaucratic Modifier and get even more money than I already make. I mean, literally, my country is just all about money. We're all like, ching ching, money, bring in the money, bring in the money. Yeah, and it seems like there's some people over here that want to kind of tackle me. Speaking of which, I better make sure I actually don't have that much. Yeah, I'm doing all my cores good. Okay, and now since we're basically done with colonialization, and I do say basically done because I'm not really planning on on colonizing any of over here. I know I could, don't, and I know I could do a lot more things with that. Don't don't judge me, but I just don't consider it that big of uh, a deal, I should say. And it seems like there's a big gigantic battle going on between Persia and the Mamelukes. That is in that is cool. Um, yeah, I think I think what I need to start focusing in on is actually. Um, expansion, mainly just expansion, and one of the mi biggest things I want to do is I want to actually like conquer some of these areas. So I think I should start moving towards this direction. So what I believe I'm going to start doing is fabricating more cores onto my good old friend the uh, Omanians. I think it's I could already take a good province from them, so I'll get my troops all in position. No, they all in position. <laughs> What am I talking about? We're already, we're already ready for war. Well, actually over here we aren't quite. So, let me see. Where's where's my army supposed to be over here? Okay, th this army's gonna head back. Yeah, that army's gonna head back. Okay, where's my army from over there? Huh. There should be like an army right here. Okay, there's... Okay, there's an army right here. Hmm. Did I not make a new... Alright, seems like I might need a new army. Let's see. Okay, what's the unit composition? Yeah, I have enough forces for it, so I guess we're gonna have to make a quick unit over here. I didn't <laughs> I didn't know we didn't just have a unit over here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I'll say eight, and then like one, two, three, four, five, six, and then like one, two, three, four. Five, six, seven. Alright, that should be some good unit composition right there. And then once all they're done, I'll combine them all into one unit, and I'll basically use that to go invade the Mamluks. Because I think uh, what I'm probably gonna do is like individually piece out each one of these guys. Like for the Mamluks, yay! Excellent year. I don't really need it, but thank you. Oh yeah. Ooh, but yeah, what I'm gonna do is I'm basically just gonna individually piece out the each little individual group. Because it's not like I'm going to need to, like, you know, go back to war against each one. So, I guess what I should be doing right now is actually fabricating lots of cores onto them. You just fabricate claim after claim after claim. You know, with these guys, just keep fabricating claim. I want to claim on, um, Sulkin. Sulkin. That way it, com it combines my land, and that way I don't have to, like, keep going all the way around. Also, for Oman, I better make sure I remember this. I need to take Mohawken. I need to take this land down here. Okay, because I keep forgetting about it, and I know I keep forgetting about it, and it annoys me that I keep forgetting about it. Okay, so let's go like... Oh, seems like some battles have been won. Let me just take all of you guys. This might be lagging my screen, actually, so I get people. So I have to do this. Oh, wait, I have to go in a little bit closer. Oh, a little bit more closer, maybe? Man, it's it's so confusing sometimes to see how cl how much closer you have to actually be. There we go. Just everyone meet over there. Then all you guys meet over there. Yeah, everyone meet over there. There we go. Agent discovered. I really don't care. If you guys want to hate me, you guys can hate me. Hate is gonna hate. Uh, 
Oh, and another thing we need to do is screw. Yes, twenty ducats, fifteen administration power. Yeah, it doesn't. It doesn't even really matter. I have so much money right now. I'm not even kidding. You guys could bankrupt me, and I would not care. Uh, what we should start doing also is actually um start annexing the uh uh improve relations. Yeah, let's let's recall this one. Uh, what we should also start doing is actually start integrating the Iraqi people into our, you know, midst, because, like, that'd be cool. And I'm seriously wondering if I should take the Defender of the Face. Like, it would help me out a lot with yearly prestige and stuff like that, but then again, I don't really want to help anyone else out. Like, I would only be doing it for my own benefits and not for anyone else, and I think that's kind of the opposite of what you need to do for that award. I... I don't know, but what I'm going to do is actually get Fortress Defense up 33%. I think that's what's going to really help keep my empire alive, especially if somebody tries to invade us. If somebody tries to invade my country, they're already going to have a tough time, because I have literally like 200 provinces by now. Okay, but then include the fact that I have literally an empire. Yeah, you're going to have a hard time. So let me see, did I miss any troops? No, I don't think so. Let's see, how's this unit composition? 20, 12, 10. Uh, not too bad, that's not, not exactly what I like, but it's good enough. And then over here, some revolts, and now I have absolutely no reason to have colonies. Right. But, at the same time, it's, it's coring time. Now, let's, before we start, before we start doing what we're about to do, let me do my ultimate, uh, thing. Yes, Iraq will become my vassal, and then I'll finally have this area locked down. And also Syria. Syria, how much longer do we have until you guys are ready? I think I think that might just actually be a matter of of improving relationships. But anyways, it's time to begin the war. Oh wait. Shoot. Uh we'll wait until one of these fabricated claims come back and then we'll start the war and start destroying whatever Omanian troops try to resist us. I mean it's going to be really funny to watch, but also kind of sad at the same time. Ooh, why am I losing so much? Okay, blockade efficiency I could lose. Why am I losing so much like... Yay! Claims fabricated! Okay, but yeah. I swear I had a way bigger army though. That's what I'm kind of worried about. Like, I swear I had a way bigger army. Oh, I have like four men spread out on like two different like islands because I hate guarding islands. Islands are like the worst to guard in this game. Okay. So, I think we're ready. I think we got everything set up. I have my attack fleet over here ready to go attack everyone. So, yeah. Uh, as soon as my diplomats come back, we're going to declare war on you, Oman. And may the almighty Allah be with you. Because you're about to get Allah smacked. What? So, let's see. Just move in this army. Keep this army more as defense. Because I just don't want them to kind of sneak past my men. Okay, and then, shh, there we go, they joined in, they joined in, now time to go kill off everyone, kill off everyone, and in this game, as I keep having to note sometimes in some of my people's, in some of my people's uh, thinking is that in EU4, it is much easier to just stay down here, select army, and then just carpet siege. While in Victoria 2, it's, it's just easier. Ah, oh, you. Don't you dare start attacking my fleets. I'll send my big heavies after you. Okay? Don't you dare start attacking my fleets. Okay. And over here, we can detach more army. Yeah. Just keep... I think I can probably just carpet seat all the way to the front. Mombasa is being... Kind of jerkish. Okay. You guys go down here. Yeah, I have really not much to fear from over here, so I'm just going to kill off the last little big army over there. My men, also I have like my men moving in from the north, so we should be fine. This is this is just more of a war because, uh, well, we really do need to kind of conquer all of Africa. Because I did say in this campaign that this is kind of what we wanted to do, is conquer all of Africa. And one of the things you have to do is you have to conquer all of Ethiopia, which is... Hard, may I say. It's definitely difficult and definitely requires some skill. Alright, but we're just going to take all this land in the back while they're kind of distracted. 
I mean, they can totally try to attack us, but we're just going to beat them. Okay, just keep keep spreading out all over that land. And yep, they retreated, so we can now go attack here. And I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys next time.